What's up you guys? My name is Asher and today is my nine months on testosterone. So I haven't done an update since I hit six months on T and that was really intentional. Uh, it Partially that was because on a month to month basis at this point I'm not noticing a lot of big changes. Uh, not in the way that I did in the first four to six months that I was on T. Uh, but also some of it is that these take a lot of time and thought for me and for the small changes that I was noticing, it didn't really feel like it was worth putting something up for this. Uh, so this video will recap the changes that I've seen over the past three months accumulated today. Um, so starting with what I always start with, my voice. Uh, my voice is still changing, for sure, uh, and it'll keep changing, I'm sure, until I'm probably two or three years on T. Uh, but the changes are definitely a lot less significant than they used to be. Um, at this point, when I'm talking on the phone or anything that has me really just reading based on my voice, I'm reading very consistently as male. I'm not being misgendered on phone calls or anything like that anymore. Um, which, you know, I, I guess still in person I'm getting misgendered some, but it seems to be less and less every day, which is cool. Um... As far as singing goes, though, my voice just feels a lot stronger all around, um, and it's been really improving, I think, over the past three months, and a lot of that is based on the work that I'm doing for it, rather than, like, the testosterone itself, but it works together. It, my upper range is gaining uh, both the range itself and the strength within it. Um, on the low end, I seem to have mostly stabilized. Uh, but at this point, I'm holding a little bit over two octaves of vocal range, which feels really, really good. Um, and that's a, that's a range that I can be proud of. So I'm, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm gaining back some of the songs that I lost in the middle of my vocal adjustment period around the time that I was four to six months in. And, and I can either not have to rekey them and sing them up to as high as I was before, or rekey them to a point where I can reach the low end and the high end and it's just a really good feeling to have. Um, most of the changes that I'm seeing with that right now are in tone and those are small changes just sort of rounding out the sound a little bit. Other than my voice, um, I am still seeing increases in my body hair, specifically on my face. Um, this is the first time ever that I've been able to participate in No Shave November, so I'm taking advantage of that and looking very much like a 14-year-old at this point, but I'm all right with that because I'm getting to see with a little bit more time what has actually developed and what's filling in. You know, I'm seeing a few more spots on my jawline on both sides that are starting to get hair. I'm noticing that between my chin and this patch on my neck, it's starting to connect a little bit. Um, so it, it's kind of funny, I was joking with a friend the other day who is a 17-year-old cis man, and he was sort of telling me that I'm probably going to end up being able to grow a beard before he will, which is <laughs> really funny to me. Um, but, but that feels good. I'm seeing some changes there, which I feel really good about. Um, and then really the biggest thing is that I'm noticing that I'm just still broadening, um, particularly in my shoulders, also a bit in my arms and my chest. Um, but it, I really hadn't noticed this that much until I was trying on a sport coat the other day that I've had for like two years. I inherited it from some family member, um, and it was too big for me before I started testosterone. Not like I'm wearing a coat that was bought for a 50 for like the size of a 15 year old and I'm 12 uh, and you know mom bought it big so that I would grow into it but just a little bit not quite right um, but when I tried it on like two weeks ago it fit almost perfectly I mean it was a little bit large just in the width of it um, because I'm still not an especially wide person uh, but the the shoulders and the arms fit perfectly and the whole like format of the coat I could get away with that now Which is cool um, In my six-month video I talked about how I thought my acne might be finally settling No um, <laughs> Acne hates me and it 
seems like that's kind of a perpetual problem, but I'm also in the middle of puberty, so it'll figure itself out. We'll get there. Um, and it's not as bad as it could be right now, so I'll take that for what it is and let it take its time to settle. Um, and otherwise, like, my mental health has really been stabilizing a lot over the past about two months. It has really gotten to a spot where it's very even and consistent and feels good. Um, feels very positive and and stable, which is nice. Um, so overall, I feel really great, and I'm so glad that I've hit nine months on testosterone. It doesn't feel like it's been nine months. I feel really, really good, and, and this has been a very fast but really affirming journey so far. Um, and it and some of that is also, you know, the past three months in general have been great. I got a snake a few months ago who is just the sweetest little baby in the world. He's like six months old and just the smallest little bean, and I love him. Um, and actually on Friday, I finished my legal name change. So I'm finally legally Asher, which is also super cool. So overall, things are going really well. Um, and that's, that's about the update. Um, that's about what I've seen so far. I'm gonna either later tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna upload a video of me singing so you can hear what my singing voice is sounding like now, nine months on testosterone. Uh, but otherwise, that's the video for this month. Uh, let me know if y'all have any specific song requests or whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Bye.